Hey guys, Arthur here with another Autodesk Maya tutorial. Um, today we shall cover light fog. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. I have a really simple setup here. I have a sphere and a plane. So now let's add our light. Now we need to use a spotlight for this one. So let's create a spotlight. Let's scale this guy up. Bring him up and scale him up. Then let's rotate him. Him, what am I saying? This is not a man. <coughs> Anyways, there. Let's increase. So if you guys are quite new to this, I recommend um, you watch my lighting video. I will cover, I cover basic lighting. So I'm, I'm just setting up my shadows here. And yeah. We will get to the rest later. Increase the penumbra. And let's scale up the floor a bit more. And let's hit render. Oh, make sure you're working with mental ray. Uh, here, mental ray in your render settings. The render tab, right here. Then make sure you have final gather on. These are my final gather settings. And yeah, let's hit render. There, very simple setup, very straightforward. Now let's add that fog, that god ray fog. All right, now this will be very simple. Let's use um, volume primitives for this. Let's open up a cube. Let's scale this guy up. Okay, anytime now. Ask for a cube, there you go that guy up let me just make sure that there's just one cube there can only be one all right it's just one all right <coughs> so don't scale it up too big um bring him down a bit and make sure he fits the area at which your light is in then let's render this guy out Uh oh looks like my my cube fog has um has previous settings let me break these connections and i'll get right to it all right let me render this guy out again all right so when you render this um up front um this is what will happen um it's just really a big huge volumetric fog. Now let's control that. First off, let's take this fog. And you have several settings here. Um, you have glow. I increased my glow to 0.1. You have density. How dense do you want the fog to be? And there's transparency. And there's color. Alright, so the things we're going to be looking at will be transparency. Let's increase this a bit more. Then in density, what it, um, what I like doing is, I like adding a volume noise. You can search that here. Just type volume. It's under 3D textures. You can use any other 3D texture, but the volume noise seems to work the best for this. So I'll be using that volume noise. Now, up front, when you click this, um, when you assign a volume noise, you will receive a. 3D texture placement node. Scale this guy up to fit your cube for better volume than for better placement of that texture. And when you render this out, you get this effect. Sweet looking effect. Yeah, you can always edit that here in your volume node here you can always edit the volume noise here you can lower the amplitude and the ratio let's scale this guy down again a bit just so we can see him more 
here. And let's try rendering this guy out again. Okay, this seems to be working a bit. Let's increase the transparency of our volumetric fog. Increase the transparency a bit more. And finally, click illuminated. And before anything can work, you have to click your spotlight. Go to light effects and add a light fog. And yep. Let's frame this up and hit render. And there you guys have it. Very basic light fog. Yeah. Now you can always increase the density or the transparency. If I go back to my cube fog, let's increase, let's decrease transparency and yeah, that should work. We can always increase the glow a bit more. Let's bring this up to point two and let's hit render. So it's really just a matter of tweaking. Now, if you're not a big fan of the noise, you can always edit that again here in your in your density then let's like let's play around with the settings so we can always decrease ratio and make that blend a bit more with each other frequency ratio we can bring down it's up to you guys just render this guy up and yeah this is very basic light fog still not a big fan of these dots So yeah, just play around with the settings guys. And I hope this helped. If you like this, um, leave a comment, subscribe, bring out spottiness. I'll be making more and I'll be making a more advanced technique of this. Make a video for that and I'll post it up when I get the chance. So yeah, stay tuned. And yeah, again, if you like this, leave a comment, subscribe. Great, just finished the render. And yeah, I hope this helped. Cheers!